all right guys so welcome back to uh you know another another video basically uh to continue showing the working out of the kirkhoff uh question the 2022 uh, cape unit 2 past paper physics question here so so previously we spoke about loop a no one to talk about loop b so here is what loop b looks like okay in loop B, I would have chosen that my current is flowing clockwise. Uh, so therefore, I2 will be flowing through R2, R3, and R4, respectively. Now, when the current, the, the presumed current, starts to flow through the variable resistor, right? Now, as you can see, there is IL that is flowing downwards, yes? So, with that being said, because I am counteracting or assuming now that the currents are flowing in opposite direction, then I have to factor that into my equation when I consider the whole um, Kirchhoff voltage law equation, so to speak, right? So that, that current, in a sense, because you're going in opposite direction, I have to use a negative sign to show that they are not going in the same direction but opposite direction because if you look here the current is flowing downwards and my presumed current in the loop is flowing against that so to make everything right we have to uh, put a subtraction sign so to continue we would go straight into talking about uh, the sum of the EMF um, in that loop loop B is equal to the sum of the potential drop across each of the component now Across R, R2, R3, R4, it's the same current that will be flowing. So what I went ahead and did was to count up all of the, add up the resistance, basically. That ended up giving me uh, 30 ohms. And because it's the same current flowing through those resistors, I could just uh, factor out I2, yes? So this is where we have 30 I2 then now when it reaches when the current starts to flow towards the variable resistor yes remember we now we have to talk about the opposite direction that the current is flowing so to, to make that correction or to make it a right we just simply subtract the the voltage here okay and as a result of that this is what our uh, third equation looks like equation 3 right so Mind you, when you look at loop B, there is no um, battery or there is no cell in it. So therefore, uh, the sum of the EMF is actually equal to zero. Now you might be wondering, what are we going to do with these equations, right? Now the aim really is for us to um, find the value of uh, IL, yes? And so we're going to use some method of uh, possibly substitution and uh, see if we can best figure out what IL is yeah so this is what we're going to do here we are going to reduce this equation here to in a more simpler simple form I can uh, rearrange it to get that 30 IL right is equal to 30 I2 right 30 and 30 will cancel out come on on both sides so leaving me with this new equation basically to say that IL is practically equal to uh, I I2 so if I am able to figure out what um, what I2 is then I am more able to solve the problem yes and so, in order for me to do that, this is the next thing that I'm going to do. Okay. So, first thing first, let's uh, substitute. We're going to substitute I1 in the equation 2. Yeah. So remember from Kirchhoff's um, first first law, current law, it says that I1 is equal to...